your ultimate guide to a garbage disposal. This is DIY plumbing at your best because literally what I've done is I've taken an NSYNC aerator 880LT and taken it completely apart. This is a more expensive garbage disposal than most people get. I'm gonna show you why I like it and why this is what I have in my house. And really it gets down to a few little things. But one of the big things is, if you notice the inside of this is not metal. The inside of this has a coating on it. It's a plastic piece put in there to keep it from rusting out. If you've ever had a garbage disposal rust and start leaking, it's because the insides corroded, they fell apart, it started leaking. You're not gonna have that problem with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back together and I'm gonna explain a few things to you. But basically, this is the motor housing. I'm not gonna take this apart. To me, I don't need to see the motor or anything, but what I do wanna show you are the two things on bottom. Number one, you've got a little red button here. Now mine's pushed in right now, that's the reset button. That is if you go to turn your garbage disposal on and it's not making any noise at all. Chances are, if you reach down under the bottom, this is probably sticking out about a half inch or so. Push it in and then wait three or four minutes for it to cool down then try to turn it back on again. If it starts making a humming noise, turn it back off because then that's letting you know that it's jammed up. Something's in there and not letting it turn. That's where this little tool comes in handy. It goes right in the center of your disposal. And you wanna be able to turn this around all the way freely. If you don't have one of these, I've got another video where I tell you how to use a plunger handle or a broom handle in there to unjam it from the other side. Let's start putting this thing back together and we'll talk about it on the way. This is what spins around and actually pushes the food out towards the grind ring. Now, the grind ring, this is actually where all the grinding gets done. This is where things get ate up and pushed down the drain. So if you see, when this part goes in, it sets up off of the bottom. So what it does is it pushes the food out to this grind ring that actually breaks down the food in small particles. The water running down there gets pushed outside also and then pushes the food down. So that's how it gets down to where it comes out over here on the drain. So I'm gonna put this back together and show you how it goes. Normally you would never take one of these apart. Me, I just love tearing stuff up. As you see here, that's what it looks like when it spins around. What I like about this particular model too, it automatically goes in reverse. If it jams up, turn off the switch, turn it back on, it'll go the other direction. It's the biggest problem people have with their garbage disposals. They either jam up and people think that they need to be replaced or they jam up, they get hot and trip the reset button, it quits making any noise, people think they burned it up. Those two things I showed you a while ago, two big things to help you keep from having to replace yours. Now here's the grind ring that I talked about and it goes on a certain direction, but these are where the sharp blades are. And you know, people that say you stick your hand down in here, you cut it off, it's not, but I'll tell you what, it'll really tear it up. These sharp blades, this is what chop up the food and the way it's designed, push it to the outer part where it'll come over and come out the outlet, that way it'll go down your drain. I really like the grind ring and the fact that all the parts on the inside of this disposal are stainless. But I also like the insulation jacket up here. And what that does is when you're running this garbage disposal, mine at home is really quiet. So I want to make sure that I get it all back on just like it was.
So as you can see, I used a small crescent wrench on an Allen wrench or hex key to literally get in there and tighten everything up to make sure I got it right. Now, all we've got to do, put the drain back on. Now, remember too, if you're changing one of these out and you're putting in a new garbage disposal, there is actually a plug in here. Because remember, that's where your dishwasher drain goes and they've got a clamp for it. So make sure you remember to knock out the plug. I can't tell you how many times I've come in, an appliance repairman has come in, changed out a dishwasher and a garbage disposal, and they always forget about that. So that's one thing you wanna make sure you are remembering. They put the drain back together. One thing I like about the in-sink aerators, their twist and lock connection system is really easy. Some people, some plumbers that I know will just change out this. They won't change out the flange and everything above. I like to change it all out. I Me, mean, if you're buying a new disposal, you deserve every piece that comes with it. Guys, as plumbers, it doesn't take you that much longer. Just remember to use your putty and make sure you do it right. That's really all that there is to a garbage disposal. If you have one leaking, chances are it needs to be replaced. What I like about upgrading to this one, and like I said, this is the Pro 880LT. This is the one that I have at my house. Anytime you change one too, make sure you change the power cord and you use the lock in here to keep it from moving around. I normally don't tear these things apart. I just wanted to show you what was inside of it and why I believe in upgrading. Where I showed you the inside earlier, where it was plastic and where it was lined in there, most less expensive garbage disposals are metal there and they're gonna rust, they're gonna corrode. One other big tip to remember, if your garbage disposal starts smelling funky, do something. Put the plug in it, fill the sink about halfway full with warm water, put in about a quarter of a cup of baking soda, mix it up really good, turn on your garbage disposal and pull the plug. What that'll do is that'll fill the chamber. Normally what you're smelling is any food particles, any anything like that that may be down in there just decaying and really starting to smell bad. But if you'll fill the sink halfway full, use a quarter cup of baking soda, mix it up, pull the plug, turn it on at the same time, it'll really clean that out and help wash all those food particles down. I hope that you learned something today. This was actually a little bit different than what we normally do, but we had fun doing this. So if you wanna know everything about a garbage disposal, this is pretty much it. If you've just got one jammed and you can't get it undone the way I showed you, I've got another video that shows you how to do it with a plunger handle from above. I'm Roger Wakefield, Elite AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.